just appreciate being a part of this team, a part of the program. And uh, hockey is a, it's a sport that I really love, and that's why I'm here and I get to play every day. Tutino back for Bach. Tutino! Pull in. Back for Tutino. She scores! Four. Wrist shot. Toto in front up. And Rush LaFour moves in. Better cross score! Kayla Tutino bangs it home. And less than 40 seconds in, Terriers lead 1 0. You have a chance to be the first player to win five <laughs> Hockey East championships, which is quite a feat. And you're the first player in history to score four goals in a tournament game among numerous other accolades and awards. How do you account for your success? Um, I guess uh, hockey is a team sport and winning a championship is it's not single-handedly done by a player. It's obviously a nice, it would be a nice accomplishment to win five Hockey East championships, but uh, I definitely have to thank my teammates like, past and present that put me in a situation to, to get a chance to win a fifth one. Who's got to stick on the ice when you go to the net? For Sutherland, Golden Stress is going to her right, but LaFord, or Tatino takes a fall in front of them and she's hurt and she is not getting up. Uh, I got injured in November of 2013, which was my junior year, and I uh, basically collided with a girl and uh, it was a little fluky. It wasn't a big collision, but I, I tore my ACL. Yeah, Tutino, a big part of the offense here for the Terriers, so uh, if they end up losing her for this game, this is going to be uh, tough. Tough player to replace for the team. I ended up playing four games after uh, with the ACL tear, but we just didn't know it was torn, and every now and then my knee would give out. And the face off. Oh, face off won by the Bears, and we have another fallen terrier. Can't see the number of the Looks like it's two Tino down again, so. Um, it was pretty much just like, oh no, we can't lose her. You know, when she first got injured, I think uh, a lot of things were going through my head. First one being, you know, I hope she's okay. Uh, hope we can just get her off the ice and take care of her and see what it is. Not get too much ahead of, ahead of ourselves. It's safe to say that that might be the last time we see her today. Even though I was injured, I've, I still got to be a part of the team, but it's always a little different when you don't get to, to play and you don't get to, to play games and practices. Obviously, it was upsetting not like knowing that you couldn't play anymore. But and my teammates were always very supportive. The coaching staff were very supportive. I think the whole BU community was always supportive. Uh, during the rehab, I think just you know helping, checking in every day with her, saying like you know it's a it's a process. You know, uh, it's definitely something that n no player wants to go through. But uh, taking a year and making sure she was 100% healthy to come back uh, was definitely something she had to work at, and she had to keep it, that end goal in mind. Just being there for her, really, um, like she would be crushing like arm workouts up in the gym with a bum leg and just like encouraging her to keep going and I know she would come in sometimes, actually one time, I can remember that she was complaining through the whole process. She was just like, I'm trying to be positive but it's hard sometimes and just making sure that you were there for her even when she was kind of bumming out, that was the biggest thing because she needed that. Uh, this is just an environment that I was, I was really happy to be around. And Teammates were always, you know, I remember when I, the day after my surgery, uh, teammates came down to my, uh, my room and came to see me and see how I was doing. She um, recovered even, like, even better than anyone ever could have imagined. She's one, always been one of the fastest on her team, and after a torn ACL, she somehow came back faster. Real quick, I know will be first, and we'll do the, uh, the abs 2 on which is like the Maple Leaf 2 on you drop it, we get out. Coach will be somewhere here. No way. Be women's ice hockey. Okay, let's keep on the mic.
at the Boston University Hall of Fame. What would it mean for you, to you to be up on this wall? Definitely uh, would mean a lot. There's a lot of history at BU uh, with athletics and, and all the sports and uh, the history that BU has. It's a, it's a renowned program, so definitely would definitely mean a lot to me. I mean, I think that these people are on the wall just because they did some distinct distinct things and they have qualities that really stood out from the, from the rest of the pack. And uh, I guess they did things right that, that made them be, become recognized at BU. Shayla is a great teammate. I think uh, on and off the ice, she brings a lot. Uh, she's very focused academically, and then off on the ice, uh, she's a very driven player. Hey, you. Hi, hi. The best thing about Kayla is that she just cares deeply about everyone on the team and in the program, uh, whether they are on the team now or they were part of the program's past. Always works hard every practice, every off ice training, so it's, it's enjoyable to play with her. Uh, I'm just happy to be a part of the team, part of the program, and part of BU hockey. And it's been a great experience so far and I'm looking to make more memories from here on till the end of the season.